And we are in the swing of things with respect to manufacturing accounting. This exercise takes us to doing the income statement for a manufacturing concern. And the full title of an income statement, as you've learned in financial accounting, is the statement of comprehensive income. In this case, it's called an abridged statement of comprehensive income, and you'll see why shortly. On the right-hand side, you have the formatted answer sheet with sales, cost of sales, gross profit, other expenses. The other expenses are not listed. They're just grouped into selling and distribution and admin cost, hence the term abridged statement of comprehensive income. So let's go in search of what we need to complete this answer. We have the following available, right? The total sales for the year amounted to 4,433,600. Unfortunately, we don't get a mark for that because it's printed on the answer page. Now we're looking in terms of how to locate the other figures we're going for. Cost of sales. There doesn't appear to be too much by way of cost of sales here, other than we have an opening stock of finished goods and we got a closing stock of finished goods. Right, opening stock of finished goods, 72,000 plus production, which we don't have right now, but we'll get to it shortly, minus the closing stock of 96,000. Now, this figure here is got at from looking at the earlier calculation for cost of sales, which was an amount of 2,795,000 rands. When we bring these three figures together, we arrive at 2,771,000 net. Arriving at the gross profit, sales, less cost of sales, 4,433,600 minus 2,771,000 leaves us with 1,000,000 662,600. We're now proceeding to other expenses and we're looking at the selling and distribution cost and the admin cost. So let's look at how far we've used data from the question. We've gone to the closing and opening finished goods balances, no work in process, raw materials issued to factory long since been used, factory wages, production wages does not go in here at all because we're looking at admin costs and selling and distribution costs. D, we're going to find our answers here. The factory overhead cost has long since been tackled in order to get us the manufacturing statement or the production cost statement. The selling and distribution cost given to us as 224,960. 224,960. And because it's a bit of a messy calculation, I'm going to bring that 224,960 into my workings page. The admin cost is 187,760 imputed on your quest on your answer sheet as well and I'm going to bring that in on my workings page of 187,760. Now we got three aspects to work with. Bullet point 1, some issues about telephone, bullet point 2, some rent expenses and bullet point 3, some insurance concerns. So let's go for it. The telephone account of 22,400 was posted in error to the factory overhead cost. This expense relates to the office. 22,400 must go to the office. Admin cost, 22,400 added on. Bullet point one, telephone sorted. Bullet point two, the entire amount of rent expense, 98,400 was posted to the factory overhead cost account. This expense should have been split in the ratio of 7 to 1 between factory, sales, and admin department. So, 98,400 divided by 10, right? And we're getting 9840. And we've got one portion there, right? One portion. Because we know one portion is useful here, going to admin. One portion going to admin, as you can see, I'm underlining that in the question paper. Admin cost, 9840. Two portions of that, thereby just simply doubling it, should give us 9840 times 2, 19,680. And two portions of that needs to go to the sales and admin. Remember, we're ignoring the factory because we're doing the income statement here. 
the 19680 and it goes in selling and distribution costs. Second bullet point, completed. The insurance cost of 26400 was divided equally between factory and sales in error. 60% of this expense relates to the factory and the balance must go to sales department. So admin cost appears to be all sorted out. Let's package that neatly and add up these amounts for admin. There, there, there. And we're getting an answer of 187760 plus 22400 plus 9840. I'm calculating that as I speak. You have an answer there of 220,000. The admin cost, 220,000. The selling cost, let's get back to it. Okay, this was divided equally between the factory overhead and the sales department in error. It should have gone 60% to the factory and 40% to sales. So all we got to do with 26,400 is take that and divide it by two and we're getting 13,200, which was the amount that actually went into the selling and distribution cost. But we now need not 50% of that, but 40% of that, remember? 60% goes to the factory, we need 40% of that. And when you work out 40%, you're now arriving at, let's get that calculated, 26,400 times 0.4 is 10,560. And if we're working out the differences there, minus 13,200, we've got an amount of 2,640. Now we've got some choices here, right? We can subtract the 13,200 right here, because that was the wrong figure, and we add the 10,000. 560 in. And so we're adding 224,960 going on my calculator and yours plus 19,680 minus 13,200 plus 10,560. All that added up and subtracted accordingly, giving you 242,000 rands net. That 242,000 goes to your selling and distribution cost. And these added up now to give us the other expenses total. 242 plus 220, that looks like 462,000 rands. And remembering it's a negative figure, it's got a bracket around it. And now we subtract that from the gross profit to arrive at net profit. And that 600 stays. And 2 minus 2, 6 minus 6, 6 minus 4, give you a 2. And we end up with a neat and almost round figure of 1,200,000 thousand and six hundred rands in total so that is your net profit for the year not a very difficult question but it's required us to perform these calculations and do the workings as you can see i've used the space at the bottom of the answer sheet to do my selling costs it's a little bit tough to pop all of these into that space but it's down to you to ensure that your workings are visible because every mark or as i'd like to say every part mark is precious on your way to doing well in this particular paper. Thank you.